Hey, hello and welcome to another Unity 5 2D car racing game tutorial. So as you can see in the last video we just have moved our enemy car but it is not spawning randomly. So in this video we're gonna randomly spawn our enemy cars from here and here and here and here so that it spawns randomly and we can make a playable game. So let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a position from where we want our car to be instantiated. So that is why we're gonna create an empty game object. So select, uh, click on the create button and create an empty game object. And let's name it car spawn position. So from the transform component, let's reset the position. Now from here, select the move tool and let's oops select the car spawn position and let's move it here I think move it to the position from where we want our car to be instantiated and created so I think I want my car to be instantiated from here so our car will start from here we we'll start from here and go there start from here and go down there so this is the position that I want okay so now we have to add a script so that it randomly spawns our car uh, whenever we start our game so select the scripts folder select the scripts folder create I think I have to delete that so create a new C sharp script and let's name it car oops not that spawner okay so car spawner just double click it to open it in mono develop and car spawner just opened so what we want to do is we want our car to be instantiated when we start our game now this object doesn't know what is our car so we have to pass our car by uh, by adding it from the inspector so that is why we want to create a public game object car so this is the car that we want to instantiate okay so in the start function we want to instantiate and then we want to pass the game object that we want to instantiate that is car and then we want to pass the position from which we want to instantiate the car that is gonna be the transform that position transform the position of the empty game object and then we are gonna pass the rotation of the car and we are gonna pass it quaternion or uh, I gonna pass it transform dot rotation okay so in the start function we are instantiating the car object okay so this is the car object that we are gonna instantiate randomly uh, we are not adding random here uh, okay we, are, we will add random later so first of all we're instantiating the car with a position where our car spawner is located so here is the position of the car spawner and we are adding the script to this so our car will be spawned from the transform position of this okay and it will also have the rotation of this so we'll we are giving our car the position and rotation of this game object okay so next what are you gonna do I think this is uh, this is the very first thing we're gonna do. So f let's select the car spawn position, and from the scripts folder, drop the car spawner script onto it. Uh, script class cannot be found. I don't need what, what have I done? I think I have messed something up okay here we go so now select the car spawn position object and drop the car spawn script under here okay now as you can see here is an empty gum game object where we have to put our car okay now remember one thing we also have to use something called a prefab 
a prefab is something that we want that we can reuse within our game in unity so since we are going to reuse this car again and again and again so we want it to be a prefab okay now an easy way to create a prefab in unity is to create a folder called prefab and put our car inside that folder okay so select the assets and from here create a new folder and I'm gonna name it prefab so select the prefab folder now and drop our black viper car inside our prefab folder as you can see the color has changed to blue so when the color changed to blue you can understand that it has been it has been converted into a prefab now we can reuse it whenever necessary so let's go and delete this from our hierarchy so delete that because we can reuse it from the prefab now select the cards on position and in the script where you can see an empty game object we are gonna drag and drop this inside that empty game object so now this car object is the car that we have passed in the inspector okay so now this script will instantiate this black viper car so let's go and run it and see what happens let's we zoom it out a bit so plate as you can see the car is spawning okay uh, let me put it here the car is spawning but the car is going in the opposite direction but we don't want that so what we are gonna do is select the car spawn position and from the Z rotation change it to 180 so, so change the Z rotation of the car spawn position to 180 so that our car now move can move in this direction so let's go and play it now and as you can see now our car moves in that direction what we want okay so now it's pretty good so now we have to add random position to our car our car is coming from the same position again and again so we want it to be instantiated from a random position so sometime we want to be we want it to be instantiated from here sometime we want to be to be instantiated from there and here and there and here and there okay so that is why we have to give uh, oops I'm sorry for that so that is why we have to give a uh, minimum and maximum position to our car so let's go and create a public float max pose so this is the position until which uh, within which we want our car to be instantiated we don't want our car to be instantiated here uh, I'm sorry we don't want our car to be instantiated here because then we cannot see it because it is outside our camera or outside our game view so we want it to be instantiated within the track okay so the minimum position is I think I think I'm gonna do 2.2 or something uh, let's check it out with the black viper object let's here so in the left 2.2 2.2 so I'm gonna make it the max position 2.2 I'll delete that so I'm gonna do the max position 2.2 so let's put 2.2 here and we can also edit it later from the inspector so it's 2.2 so now we want our car to be instantiated from minus 2.2 to plus 2.2 okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new variable we're gonna create a new variable that is gonna store the random position so we're gonna create float var or let me create four car pose I think I'm gonna put it inside a vector 3 cuz it is a position so let's go and create a vector 3 car pose so inside that we're gonna create a new vector 3 okay so inside that for the X component we are gonna put letter for the Y and Z we're gonna put the transform dot position and the Z component we also gonna put the transform dot why the heck is it changing to transform I don't know so transform dot position dot what the heck 
transform dot position dot y I cannot do that okay so let's try it one more time so in the x component we are gonna put the random dot range and as the range we're gonna give it minus 2.2 f to 2.2 f so our minimum uh, the minimum value will be minus 2.2 and the maximum value will be 2.2 so our car will be instantiated from minus 2.2 to plus 2.2 in the x direction and for the y value we're gonna give it let's try it again transform dot position dot y now it works and for the y we're gonna put z we're gonna put transform dot position dot z it works now so we are creating a temporary position for our car and this position is randomly created so for the x component we want the x component to be random okay we want the x component to be either here or here or here or here but for the y and z component we want to be at the same place so we are not doing that and i have probably messed up somewhere it is giving me an error 12 on line 12 vector 3 car pause new vector 3 random range transform position okay I have put double okay now it's good actually I put uh, double parenthesis here so we are creating it inside minus 2.2 to plus 2.2 and the transform the position that y is the same as the transform position of the y of the uh, car spawner object and the z position is also the same as the car spawner object so only we want only the x component or x value to be randomly created okay so now uh, we have to put this random car position inside this transformed position okay so here we're gonna create uh, here we're gonna pass our car pose instead of that transformed pose okay so we have created this car position which is a random variation of the transformed position and we are passing it as the y component as the position of the instantiate function I know it is pretty complicated but if you have any problem you can ask me questions so now let's go and run it as you can see now the car moves create car is created from here now again if I run it the car gets created from random directions okay now again the car will be created from another random direction okay so now the car gets created from random directions so we have pretty much done what we wanted to do but it is not actually getting randomly okay so with it is only getting created and we have to play it again and only once it is getting created in random direction so we have to do something we have to create a timer so that after some time it's it again gets created and after some time it again gets created so we get a playable game so that's what we're gonna do in the next video so in the next video we're gonna randomly spawn our car more accurately so this is it for this video and if you have any questions any problems just write those in comments and i'll be very very happy to help you so thank you very very much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something please hit the like button and if you have any questions just write those in comments so have a great day thanks